Alright guys, earlier this year I came back and I found a significant amount of uh, ramps or wild leaks and I just wanted to show you. This is what they look like now. See these are the flower buds ready to open and I'm going to dig down here and uh, hopefully show you. Nice wild ramps. <clears throat> and right now they're actually kind of a good size. Um, when I came this spring and picked them when they were in their vegetative stage, they weren't very big. But now, some of these guys are kind of large. And um, what I'm going to do with these, let me show you here these guys right here is I'm going to take them home and I'm going to dehydrate them and make my um, my own kind of onion soup mix for uh, out on the trail, out on the hike. Um, I just figured it would be good. For those of you who don't know what these are, I wouldn't recommend that you go out and pick stuff out of the wild if you don't know what it is. I plotted this, these ramps earlier this spring and I actually found a large field of these, which you can see on my um, my intro video. I mean, there's just a whole large patches of these back here in the woods um, about a mile behind my house. And I've been searching for a couple hours now, and I just finally found them again. Because, I mean, everything is green. Very green right now. And it's just hard to find stuff especially when you're looking for something that small out in the woods here we go guys I found one that's a little further on this bud is a little closer to flowering show you what it looks like here You see all those little pods down there? Those are the ramps. And the easiest way to pick these is just to pluck with your thumb. Get your thumb underneath there, your forefinger on the other side, and just pluck and pull. Yummy. I can't wait to eat these. Alright guys, I've collected a significant amount, um, which I'll take a nice picture of after I wash them up and get back to the house. Um, but I did want to show you guys something. I've dug up just small patches all over the place. And I mean, there's still hundreds of them in, in this area. And I want to restress the point that... Uh, very important when you find these wild edibles and things like this, don't be greedy. Leave some for others. Um, you know, don't pick them all. Don't, don't kill them off. I mean, the more you leave, the more that will be there next year and the year after and forevermore after that. I mean, there's no need to be greedy. Nature. Alright guys, I got these all home and I uh, rinsed them off removed the the root end here and uh I actually took a couple chews out of this stem here to see if that would give me the flavor that I wanted to and it does so I'm not gonna throw it out. I'm gonna use the whole thing. Um one weird thing about these root tips is if you notice it's almost like a like a small growth on the bottom here. And these, to take them off, all you really need to do is just flick it with your finger like that. It comes off clean. Because if you don't take that off, as you can see, there's a lot of dirt and stuff hides in there. Um, I'm just going to chop these up. 
side along the side like this and then I'm going to put them in the food dehydrator and I'm not going to put anything else in with them because I figure I can add my seasonings as I like that way I could just use these pretty much in any recipe and come back in a minute here when I get them almost all sliced up well guys I got these all chopped up um, and the smell is quite strong I got them in my dehydrator and I just want to make one note it actually smells like propane well guys as you can see I'm down to the last one here um, I just left these off to the to the side here because I'm going to use these like chives as just the seasoning and I'm going to save these more for cooking with but uh I'll tell you one thing the house smells like leeks this just so you guys know has a ten and a half inch paper plate here and it's just about full so I got quite a yield out of that I mean it's filled the whole kitchen area here with the smell of propane I did the leeks or the stems separately and then I spread the onion that's on a paper towel when you use your dehydrator and you put a paper towel or uh, wax paper or anything on it just make sure you leave this hole open it allows for the circulation of the heat and uh, and like that and I'm supposed to have a couple days off later this week and maybe I'll get out and have a chance to show you guys how my soup turned out well guys hope I helped somebody and as always have a good one